Hey you guys, I'm Mandy. This is Luke Red Tarot, and this is an anonymous personal reading. Um, I haven't been doing uh, personals lately because I've just been kind of busy, and some of y'all already know I usually do. I haven't been taking on new clients for a while, so I usually just do returning clients or people who got referred by somebody else. But this person um, asked for a reading, and I'm going to do it for him because I felt led. Okay, so... Um, so if you, if you're somebody who's in jail right now, this could resonate for you. If you're dealing with somebody who is in jail right now, prison, jail, anything like that, this could, there could be some messages in here for you, but always remember this is a general reading. So if it's not actually your personal reading, then just take different messages, but not the whole thing because it's definitely for somebody specific. Okay. But you might get some hope from it. Um, if you're dealing with a situation like that. Okay, so I got some songs for you before I started. And the first one was Post Malone, Circles. Then I got uh, Ready or Not, The Fugees, and One Republic, Secrets. Okay, so those could be relevant um, in some way. There could be messages in those songs for you somehow. So the first card I got for you was the Two of Cups, which represents like a soulmate. So I feel like you really got somebody on your mind. Like uh, this could be family here with the Ten of Cups coming out and the King of Swords coming out here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming out. And then we got the Strength card. Okay, so Leo energy, the Strength card representing like you've had to be strong and you have been like with the Six of Wands coming out. You've been making the most of your situation. Like, I can really see that. You got so much love um, around you right now. And and what I mean is, like, it feels like you got a lot. Of, you might have a lot of people who love you in there, you know. But on the outside, there's a lot of people who are trying to uh, bring things together for you. I feel like, um, I feel like it's either family or it could be. <laughs> this feels like um love like you really you got somebody out there that you miss they miss you um and if not then you will there will be somebody coming this ace of cups came out for you so okay so the these cards here they're supposed to be like the past and the present these over here i was just talking on now the next ones are supposed to be what's coming up in the future so um coming up next the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio there's gonna be some movement here and i'm i'm saying that in a good way um you're gonna i feel like you're gonna get some good news um i can't say i can't say exactly when but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a long time here because um all these wands coming out that's like quick energy what you fear so you could be hearing from you know somebody that this two of cups person that you love you know um a soulmate could even could be family could be a friend but normally most of the time it's somebody like a you know somebody you love could be baby mama wife something um or just somebody that you love and i've seen three 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 on the clock so you might be seeing a lot of threes everywhere maybe not but i just noticed it so what's coming out for what you fear here is the hangman pisces energy what and that's like you know how long am i gonna be stuck in this situation is what i was feeling how others see you is the four of wands and i got a really good feeling like that like other people see you as home um you might have a lot of people who love you in your city here uh I think people got a lot of respect for you here with the six of wands and the four of wands, your family, your friends, a lot of people respect you. They love you. Um, in the position of what you really want, uh, the king of wands came out, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So you could, um, be dealing with a fire sign, but, uh, the king of wands for me was next to the eight of wands which is about messages um letters emails phone calls things like that 444 on the clock um so those repeating numbers are coming up a lot so all right so with the king of wands and the eight of wands beside each other with the position that you're in right now i feel like you're going to get some good news soon possibly from uh an attorney 
it could be just, you know, yeah, that's what it feels like to me, like some kind of attorney or something. Um, but what you want is to be, of course, free as a bird here, like this bird, okay? Now, I don't know your situation uh, or anything to do with, you know, all I know is where you're at. So I'm just reading the cards. But so I, I wanted to um, start pulling out cards where you can see it uh, because this one came out when I asked to clarify the eight of wands, which is about messages and everything. Like I was saying, the ace of cups flipped out. And the Ace of Cups is about love, you know, somebody that you love. Uh, this is going to make you really happy, this message that you're going to get um, to the point where you might even cry, okay? This might be a Leo that you're going to hear from. Um, it really could be any sign, but that's just, I'm just saying what I'm seeing here off the top of my head. Okay, so I'm going to keep, so the underlying things going on here that, okay, let me show you. We got the king, the king of swords, the star, and the eight of swords. The eight of swords sometimes can represent, you know, jail. Um, but these are the things that's going on behind the scenes are leading up to this really good energy here, which is the ace of cups, the eight of wands. Um, the star is Aquarius energy. <coughs> I feel like you're going to be real successful at something. I don't know what it is, but uh, like I said, people people got a lot of respect for you. People seem to be looking up to you. Um, maybe you're going to be doing something on some kind of, you know, um, platform or something. Hopefully on the outside, but if it's while you're still in there. To me, I wish I could just say, you know, what I will say is you're going to be getting some good news. It's going to make you happy. Okay. All right. So the star and the king of swords. Yeah. This just feels like to me, like you was just kind of something kind of stopped you in your tracks from something that was going on with this wheel of fortune here that came out too. And like you had, everything was going good, you know, and then something happened. Whatever happened, I don't know, that ain't my business, but whatever it was, you know, it led up to the, the whole jail situation here. All right, so next, I'm going to see what else I can find out about this um this Ace of Cups and this Eight of Wands, which is some kind of good news coming in that's going to make you happy. So please tell me more, and please give me another song. Just can't get enough black eyed peas. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I know that song. Okay, so please tell me more about this Ace of Cups and this Eight of Wands coming in. Four of Cups. Okay. What else? I'll tell you what it means when I get more on it. The Hermit. What else? King of Swords. What else? Two of Cups again. So you're going to, I feel like who you're going to be, okay. The King of Swords with the Hermit could be, um, hold on a second. The Two of Cups coming out again, that's like a, I feel definitely like you're going to hear something either from or about um, <clears throat> this person, this soulmate, they could be uh, contacting you about some information, maybe something to do with your case or, you know, situation. The Hermit, Virgo Energy, King of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, what else? What about this Two of Cups and this, these messages? Okay, um, Eight of Wands can also, it's Sagittarius energy, but it can also mean like quick movement, quick movement. Okay, Page of Cups. So I seen that at the bottom of the deck and I didn't mention it, but 
So you could hear some news about a kid, um, maybe, or it doesn't have to be about a kid. The Page of Cups can also be about like an apology or something. Somebody could be apologizing about something. The energy can also be reversed. So, oh, okay. So the Four of Wands coming out. The Chariot. Uh, what else? The King of Cups. Like I said, this is gonna make you very, it's gonna make you real emotional here. Now we got the King and Queen of Cups here. So is this you deciding that you, if you're not married, that you want to get married? Okay, Ten of Swords coming out. What's this Ten of Swords about? Yeah, Ten of Swords with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this Queen of Cups, what is this Ten of Swords? Not a ones. Okay, what is this Ten of Swords? The Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. What is this? Temperance. Sagittarius energy again. Ten of Pentacles. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. Now there is more than one masculine in this inner in this reading, so hmm. Seven of Swords in the Tower. Um what? Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna switch decks because this is a bunch of there's a bunch of crazy energy going on around you, which is that's understandable. When when you're at where you're at, it's like there's so <laughs> I say that because I've been there before, not you know, not all like I'm. <laughs> I've been in the county for uh, I was in the county for a little while and like just the energy like other people's negative energy it just like feels like ooh I can I can only imagine that. Okay, so the courthouse. So what is this? Message. Okay, now we're talking. What is this message? I'm going to explain this once I get more out. Hmm. Okay. See, <laughs> I know why I got that song Circles now, because it's like... This whole situation is like going around in circles. I feel like um, you've been stressed the hell out. That's why this um, bad health card came out. Maybe you've been worried about uh, something to do with a child here or, you know, a family situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. 
don't have to be. I'm seeing a lot of Leo energy too. Okay, so I've seen the, the sun at the bottom of the deck, which is good. Um, okay, uh, tell me more about the, tell me what he needs to hear right now about this situation. Only what he needs to hear right now about this situation. Coming up, the future of this situation. Four of Pentacles. The lovers again, okay. The Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Strength again. And the Queen of Wands. That's a lot of um the Queen of Wands um and strength that definitely could be Leo energy there. Okay, um so the four of pentacles and the lovers um i feel like you're trying to hold hold on to hope about a situation with a with this two of cups here with this soulmate here or they are the nine of pentacles is good um you could be hearing from a friend with the Page of Pentacles. Um, you could learn something new here that could help you to uh, make money with this Nine of Pentacles. That will help you get through this situation. Okay, the Page of Swords. And the King of Swords. The hierophant at the bottom of the deck. What else about this King of Swords and the Page of Swords? Seven of Wands, the Emperor. <clears throat> okay, with the King of Swords coming out and the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands, I would say, um, and then that song, Secrets, I would be careful about anybody you talk to about your case, anything like that, your family situation, whatever, because it's like, I'm getting the feeling like, uh, with so the King of Swords, okay, now that could be your energy but the king of swords the hierophant was at the bottom of the deck with the page of swords uh the king of swords can sometimes be about um the law and with the page of swords i feel like be i mean of course you're being watched you're always going to be watched where you're at but be careful about who you talking to about your business because i feel like there's somebody here that you maybe you shouldn't be trusting maybe it's a friend and i don't want to say like make you just not trust any but you really really can't trust nobody i mean but at some point you gotta trust somebody you know just be careful i'll say that what is this um king of swords with the now let's find out more about this nine of pentacles the money Magician, okay. What else? Death and rebirth, Scorpio, Gemini, 
energy Virgo. The sun, Leo. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. I do feel like you're going to be learning something new here that's going to be helping you to make money. You might even meet um, meet somebody through that. Whatever you're doing, like, uh, I mean, anything's possible. If you're able to communicate where you're at, there's, there's the possibilities of who you can meet are endless, really. What else about this right here? Strength again. I just seen 21, 21 on the clock. Um, Leo energy. You could be going through some kind of spiritual awakening, um, or you could have been through one. The Five of Swords. Hmm. The King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Two of Swords. And then the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this could be... Um, mm, this could be a situation where you... Uh, where one thing ends and a new thing begins um as far as as far as love goes but and the only reason why i say love is because this knight of cups is right here which is about romance okay what else The Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Two of Swords, I feel like you might be um, something stressing you. Well, of course, something stressing you. But I was going to say with the, the Two of Swords, um, it's like you're torn between two things. Or people, maybe. Um, actually, I'm going to switch to again. Okay. Okay, please give me six cards on the overall... Overall guidance, overall guidance and advice, please. Six cards. The tower, five more cards, please. One at a time. Ten of cups, four more cards, please. One at a time. Show me clearly, please. The Emperor. 
three more cards, one at a time. Please show me clearly. <clears throat> three more cards, one at a time. Please show me clearly. Four cups. Two more cards, please show me clearly. One at a time, please. Two more cards, one at a time, please show me clearly. Advice, guidance and advice. Nine of Cups, I saw that, and uh, that was one of the ones that flipped out, but I put it back so it came out again. Okay, one more card, please. Guidance and advice. Okay, one more card, please. Please show me clearly. One more card, please show me clearly. Two of Wands. And Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing coming out clear here, to be honest. Um, that's annoying. Okay, um, let me get another song. Okay, so what I'm getting though, like with this Tower, Ten of Cups, and the Emperor, it's like that I feel like you was happy, uh, content. You might have had a family um, situation with somebody out here, like kids, maybe a house. And then something happened. You might have got betrayed by somebody. Um, okay, so the way these cards came out, though, I feel like you're going to get another chance to... Um, Fix something that was collapsed here in the in the past. The Four of Cups is about a missed opportunity. And with the Nine of Cups coming out, I know it's a lot of confusion that was going on here in your reading, but I do want to say with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands coming out here, that's really good because the Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. Two of Wands is things coming together. And then the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, to me, what I'm seeing is, is not normally what I see with the Five of Pentacles. I'm seeing you being on the other side of those windows. Because I've been behind them, them windows before. Well, windows I couldn't get out of. Let's just say it like that. And I wouldn't have gave a damn how cold it was out there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have gave a damn how cold it was out there. I just wanted to. <clears throat> yeah. And all I wanted to see, you know, I wanted to feel the sun on my face. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so please clarify this Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands because it's like every time I tried to clarify something, I was going back around in the circle again, and that's... Seasons change, and I love when cold. You might have this back and forth relationship with somebody. The seasons may have changed since you've been in there. I don't know. I'm just talking about the music that came through. Six of Swords. Okay, okay. All right, what else? Please give me two more cards on what this Nine of Cups and this Two of Wands means. Strength. Please give me one more card on what this means right here at the end. The Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This... Okay. Look at this. Okay, so the Six of Swords is moving out of a, a messed up situation, like choppy waters, like moving into calmer waters. And this Strength card here, the Strength card has came out many a times for you in your reading, which does represent Leo, but it don't have to. But this right here, uh, this is like somebody... And that could be just straight up, you know, God, your spirit, God, whatever you, whatever higher power or source that you believe in, I feel like it's going to help you get through this. And I do, I mean, this looks like she's coming through and helping him lift, well, this, this animal here. I don't know, is that a whale or what it is, but, oh, hmm, that's interesting. I seem... I just seen a video with a whale on it. Okay, so so that could be, and I just seen two, two, two again. Okay, so that could be some kind of confirmation. But when I say, okay, so the nine of cups and the two of wands, things are coming together. Your wishes are coming together, okay? Um. So the six of swords with the strength, it, this is, that's clarification that these two cards, because like I said, there's so much shit going on here and around you that uh, it was causing me confusion. But the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands coming out together is good. Wish fulfillment. Something's coming together. And then when you got the Six of Wands, I mean the Six of Swords. I said Six of Wands by accident, but Six of Wands mean victory. So we're going to take that too for you. Okay. So the Strength card with the Six of Swords, like... The Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity, and it can also be about, you know, like a legal document or something like that. Um, but this looks like somebody being released, okay? Somebody being, uh, whatever, the net that this fish was caught in, this, and I'm seeing four threes now, 33, 33 on the clock. Um, so I can't tell you when it's going to be because, you know, I don't know. But you're going to get through this situation. You're going to be hearing some good news here soon. I feel like um, with this Eight of Wands and this Ace of Cups, news that's going to make you so happy that you might cry even, okay? Now, I don't know how long it's going to take to get this news, but hopefully not too long. I'm going to get one more song for you. Oh, I see something it said just the beginning. Actually, it's a commercial plan. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of cards for you from the um, Offset Egyptian Oracle.
cool Jonas Brothers. <laughs> One second. Who <laughs> woke up feeling like a new James Dean? Okay. <laughs> cool. The Jonas Brothers? I've never heard that. Alright. Um, please give me... Please give me... Three cards on this ending here. This Six of Swords, this Strength, and Ace of Swords. Set challenges in Domutef, Earth Spirit, okay. Please give me one more card. Hmm. Please give me one more card. A new misguide and protector. And at the bottom of the deck, um, Nefer Nefertum. Okay, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm so sorry. Okay, renewal and rebirth. You got some strong ancestors around you protecting you right now. So keep your, you know, keep your prayers up and and your your thanks and gratitude up for for them watching over you because you know it's a lot of stuff that goes on in there and you I feel like you're being protected from a lot of stuff. Okay, so this this card here goes along with this um, challenges because when you when the six of swords comes up, that means that you was going through a shitty situation and you're coming out of it like your guides are helping to lead you out of it okay anubis is um like the the underworld um it's like you're being guided through the dark into the light okay back out into the light okay earth spirit along with this um strength card is really giving me you got some strong uh like I said, ancestors, bloodline, whatever it is, they're around you. They're protecting you. You got to be careful, though, because when you. Because we can mess that up ourselves by trusting the wrong people. Be careful about who you're telling your secrets to. Um, As far as, you know, well, I say what I need to say. OK, <coughs> uh. Is there anything else? This is gonna take a while to upload because it's a little longer. Okay, give me three. No, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna get some three cards from the Ask Your God stick. Maybe you're learning some kind of new skill right now. Okay, please give me three cards for advice from his specific ancestors and God spirit team that they want him to hear right now. Partnerships and love, nature spirits. Yes, you are surrounded by love and protection, like I was saying. Okay, two more cards, please. There's a lot of love around you. A lot of people love you and respect you. Grace. Holy Spirit. One more card, please. One more card. Well, two came out. Oh, shit. <laughs> this was good to come out like this. So, two cards came out, and I'm going to take both of them. 
Yes. Take this time. I don't know how much time it is left, but uh, boredom is at the bottom of the deck. Um, take this time to learn about something, or maybe that is what you're doing to get you through the boring times in there. Um, but purpose with master teacher, I feel like you're learning about something that is going to take you like whatever you're going through right now it's leading you somewhere that you never expected to go um a place of you're gonna be some kind of teacher i feel like teacher of something helping people to understand things or something i don't know what it is but you're gonna be some kind of master teacher okay uh or you're meant to be celebration with joy guys your your spirit team is gonna be celebrating with you And not just your spirit team, but other people. Joy is coming your way. Grace, joy, partnerships, and love. Um, this could be even like people that you're connecting with and they're coming together, you know. Coming together. But I do feel like you're going to be getting um, a message soon here that's going to make you happy. And I'm hoping for that for you. And, uh... Be careful about, like I said, the secrets thing. Be careful about, just use your intuition and watch people. But with this purpose and celebration and everything else I told you, I feel like there's something good that's coming for you. Um, you are being protected, but be careful about who you let in your energy. I know that's hard where you're at, but it still can be done pray for a bubble of protection to surround you at all times no matter where you're at and i'm praying that prayer for you too at the same time so um i hope that helps in some way if you got any specific questions you want to ask me then i could pull a couple more cards for you um here in the next you know week or so let me know thank you